Alright, the first thing you're going to need is a water and salt solution like this right here. Just mix some hot tap water with some salt, shake it up in a bottle, and there's your uh, solution. Next thing you're going to need is some kind of iron rod. I'm even just going to use these little rods right here. Alright, next two things you're going to need is a plastic cup and a coffee filter to filter the water from the rust. Now you're going to need your salt solution and a battery charger, yeah. Alright, now what we're going to do is take the salt solution and pour that up almost to the top. That was that. Alright. Alright, now we're going to take an iron rod and clamp it onto the positive side. And slide it in. And then one on the negative side. Put it into. Then Alright, and it's to start bubbling like this. Now be careful because the gas coming out are hydrogen and chlorine, and chlorine can kill you, so recommend doing this in an open area or a place where there's a giant opening like that one for all the shit you got. Alright. First it'll turn green and then it'll start to rust, so give it some time to start rusting before you flip out and leave crazy comments. Alright, after a while it's going to start to look like this. Um, kind of a brownish color. And then look on here, I don't know if you can see that, but it says 2 amps. Now, this is a 6 amp battery charger, so it, once it gets up to the 6 right here, that's when it's, you know, supposed to that, need to start stopping it because it's going to go, it'll start going crazy and it'll probably blow that. Okay, every once in a while you have to pull this out. The rust kind of floats up on the end of it. Now with some pliers, you can it with your bare hands because it's pretty hot. And then just take something with a, something to scrape it off with. And then just put it back in. I do that every once in a while to keep it clean. Okay, okay this part's going to tell you how to prepare the filter. Just take a putty knife or something and cut the bottom of the cup off. You can also use scissors or whatever, just get the bottom off. Okay. Then take the coffee filter and push it down inside. Then fold the remaining part of the coffee filter over the edge. Then get some duct tape, we have a piece off, and then just wrap it around the edge, pulling the coffee filter sort of onto the cup. Just do as best you can, this is totally perfect. Alright, and there's your filter. Alright, after about a couple of hours, um, it should be ready. Just make sure that that one's pretty corroded down. So uh, what you're going to do is unplug it or turn off your battery charger. And then pull these out. Uh, down there. Now you're going to want to use a glove like this because that crap can be really hot. Grab it and take it out to be filtered. Okay, so just take the, the jar of water and rust and just pour it in there.
carefully don't burn yourself with this pretty hot. Let it filter through for a little bit and then pour some more in. Alright, now once you get it all in, I take a second coffee filter, like this one right here, and just put it on top. Stick it on it so it doesn't blow away or rock or something. That just helps so it doesn't get debris in it and stuff like that. Okay, after you filter your rust, put it out on a paper towel or plate or something and put it under a light to kind of dry it off, get it as dry as you can. Um, when it, see how there's a red spot right there? That's where it's getting where it's getting dry. I mean, it looks black, but once it dries, it'll turn a different color.